Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So, if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. So, Bitcoin on the four hour after hour uh, price action uh, below this uh, below this uh, pretty important area of support. Uh, well, we did run into a, a, five, a four hour uh, nine candle and a combo 13, just incidentally. Uh, also, we did run into a nine candle here as well. Uh, but yeah, ran into a nine candle on the four hour. Uh, and that has resulted in a pump back above, currently back above our uh, resistance area, but only only just. So obviously, we're only just above the top size 16 and a half thousand here. So if we are able to maintain up here and especially if we're able to get above, uh, well, just we'll just call it 17,000. If we're able to get over 17,000, then, yeah, we could look pretty good uh, if that moved towards 17 and a half, potentially even uh, 18 and a half thousand. Um, and then obviously reassess what happens there. If we get up to 18 and a half thousand. And we get rejected there as long as we can establish a sideways range with a low of six and a half and a high of eight and a half thousand, then it will potentially look good for accumulation. Um, but obviously that's got to happen first. We're only barely above this uh, above this uh, area. So if we just drop back below, then yeah, we'll be certainly seeing uh, lower prices of which obviously everybody in the market is expecting. Everybody in the market is uh, is bearish. Uh, what is giving this bit as a giving us this bit of a pump at the morning. I mean, <laughs> what's giving us this bit of a pump is uh, is the stock markets. As you can see, looking good. S&P back over 4,000, uh, back over this uh, over this resistance area. Um, very good to see. Obviously, we are going to run into this downward sloping trend line. Um, lots of people are eyeing up this uh, downward sloping trend line, this area, uh, as uh, what will be uh, the top of this rally. Then we'll sell and come lower again. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's a perfectly, but you sell, you sell resistance, don't you? It's a perfectly viable strategy. I'm sure they'll have stop losses above that resistance. Uh, and then obviously, so that means if you break above it, we'll then accelerate past it or not and to the upside, which is basically the underlying market dynamics that result in, in those sorts of moves. When you break resistance, you accelerate. When you break support, you accelerate to the downside. Uh, but yeah, stocks are looking good. Maybe now uh, we've got a lot of uh, of the crypto related FUD out of the way. Uh, maybe then obviously we will trade uh, in tandem with risk assets why, uh, more generally, albeit at a lower price point. Uh, maybe that is what is going to happen now. Uh, DXY uh, did uh, have a pullback up, uh, up to our basically our first level of resistance. We identified this area where we could kind of Wanted to get rejected. If not, this was to be the next level. And we're rejected there pretty much around that level. So that's good to see. Uh, I ran into a fire and now I'm having a little bit of a bounce. But yeah, it's good to see that this didn't continue up, break this and continues. Not to say that that won't happen. Not to say this won't be a low. We have a low high, a higher low, and then print a higher high and break through. Uh, but good to see we are uh, did ease off and we're still uh, within, this, within this range down here. 10 year also... Um, still uh, hovering around roughly its lows to not making a move. So that is obviously good to see. Uh, and oil did have a pretty aggressive, uh, a pretty aggressive bounce from seventy-five dollars here to eighty. So if we do want to look at that as a percentage move, when people uh, look at the moves that we get in crypto, um, that is nearly a nearly a near. Well, we've got it nine percent plus, uh, not far off a ten percent move. Uh, in a in a normal uh, <laughs> finance 1.0 asset, uh, so yeah, pretty pretty wild volatility out there. The Ethereum Satoshi pairing um, is basically bouncing off the support. You can see how these support levels have been resistance have been playing out. Uh, broke through, broke through, uh, bounced, uh, bounced, and then broke through and then bounced. So I mean, we need to get we need to get back above here, and then we need to take get out above this high here as well uh, to uh, to change this uh, downtrend that we're pretty much uh, in. Um, but clearly, uh, we can we can roll over here, come back lower, uh, take this out, and that is uh, going to be a pretty. Uh, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be pretty if we do. However, it should be pretty strong support, and maybe we have bounced off it already. Uh, maybe we we will reclaim this uh, this horizontal here um what else what else not much else let's look at stochastics 
Um, four hour getting a bit extended here, so potentially won't have four hour to, to hold as above support. I mean, the thing is now, uh, the name of the game is to hold above this support. If we don't, we're going to have all sorts of um, bearish divergences just coming in. Uh, on various RSIs uh, with obviously these highs and then higher high highs in the RSI but um, so we do need we do need some support here to continue moving uh, 12 hour is a turning up here uh, which is good to see um, so that is a good read 12 hour could support price action here similarly daily could support price action down here as well so they are they are decent time frames uh, to actually uh, hold us above this take us towards 17 17 and a half and potentially 18 and a half buy daily also looking to turn up from a low level three day losing a bit of its downward momentum five day is still pointing down weekly is also then bi weekly down there monthly down there so um so did we get a reset of the two day and the three day uh and and well i guess the daily as well in the uh, stochastics um with this move and now are we going to see some uh, upward pressure from those uh, to get us back to maybe even if it's only as far as eight and a half, that would be an excellent uh, uh, place for uh, people to sell, for bears to sell. Obviously, if we break back above, you just close that position. But risk reward wise, um, yeah, well, uh, eight and a half, you can sell, and then like you got potentially, <laughs> you could potentially go to zero. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you could, but you could even get towards uh, 12, 13, 13,000. Uh, dollar bitcoin uh, if we reject there come down take out these lows so it's not a bad trade there will be short in short people trying to short there if we get up there uh, but obviously uh, the flip side of that will be if we have the strength and momentum to continue above uh, above that eight and a half and uh, and resist those sellers um, then yeah we should accelerate pretty much back to uh, 21 and a half thousand you would have thought uh, and then um fall back into this previous range that we were in before and uh, and then yeah maybe continue to accumulate maybe continue to distribute we have to see what happens going forwards um however you do have to look at the breakdown in the dxy uh the fact that stocks are looking pretty good here you have to look at these as potential uh reasons why we could see uh, a a few months at least of bullish price action however stocks will face their big test uh, once they get up to around this uh, 4100 which is not far so uh, we'll see what happens there so that is pretty much it guys remember this is not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and I shall speak to you guys soon